it's Jordan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you joined me. I am making a vegan or plant-based lasagna that is soy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, sugar-free. I mean, we've got only the good stuff in here, you guys. I'm starting by making the ricotta cheese. And I don't know why I just said it in an Italian accent. I'm not Italian, but I think it's fun to say. This is a sunflower seed ricotta. So normally a lot of vegan cheeses are made with either a tofu or soy based base or a nut based base, <laughs> like cashews or almonds. My sister is actually nut free. She can't have any tree nuts. So anytime I'm cooking, I always like to figure out ways that I can make things nut free just because it's a really common allergy. I'm using sunflower seeds because they work just as well, if not better than cashews. These are just raw sunflower seeds. We're using two cups. And now what we need to do in order to soften up the raw sunflower seeds and get them ready to make into ricotta, we need to soften them with some boiling water. I just let some boiling water in my teapot and we're just gonna pour it right over the sunflower seeds. And we're starting with that first because it does need to sit for about, ooh, steamy. Need to sit for about 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure they're softened up. The other thing you can do is you can soak them in regular room temperature water overnight or for a few hours if you didn't do the boiling thing, but I don't think that far ahead, so I gotta do the boiling thing. All right, so now that these are soaking, I'm just gonna set them to the side, being very careful, because this bowl is hot. In the meantime, we can get started on the sauce. So to make the sauce, we are going to be using, instead of a ground beef or a crumbled tempeh or soy-based plant kind of product, we are just gonna keep it simple and straightforward with whole foods. We're gonna use some shiitake mushrooms, I highly, highly recommend shiitake mushrooms. They have such a meaty, yummy, delicious flavor. A good substitute would be like your brown mushrooms or any type of button mushroom. I also cooked up some lentils. I just boiled a half a cup of dry lentils with a little bit of salt and had them in the fridge. So these two are going to be our filling that go into the sauce. So all I need to do, get that out of the way. I don't need to do anything to the lentils, but I do wanna give the mushrooms just a quick rough chop. I think that looks nice. Really nice non-stick skillet. You can use any type of skillet you want. Just make sure you add a little bit of oil. That is going to help our mushrooms get nice and browned. I'm using an avocado oil because it's good for high heat cooking. It's going to add our mushrooms right in. And this was a five ounce container of mushrooms. Before I salt the mushrooms, I make sure they're all coated in the oil and just kind of give them a stir and let them saute for a good three to four minutes. This way the mushrooms can brown before you add the salt and then they start releasing their moisture. The mushrooms are going now, so let me show you what we're going to be using for our sauce. For a full pan of lasagna, at least a jar, if not more, of your favorite marinara sauce. And I am using this one. I've already opened it, so I wanna use up the rest of it. It's called Carfagna's, which is a local Italian store near where I live in Ohio, and they make a bomb marinara sauce. I'm also gonna be using some of this Rayo's marinara if I need some extra. I love this one. It's available at most grocery stores and Whole Foods and online. The ingredients are amazing. So it's just Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, dried oregano. Super simple and it tastes incredible. Mushrooms are starting to brown and cook down. A pinch of salt, fresh cracked black pepper. Add in our lentils. You can use any type of beans you like. Use black beans, red beans. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut aminos to the mushrooms and the lentils. You could also use a soy sauce or a tamari. I'm going soy free for this recipe, so we're using a coconut aminos. It just is gonna give it that savory, meaty flavor, salty flavor that we're looking for. Pick up the flavor a little bit more. I'm going to add in some dried oregano. 
I would say probably a quarter to a half teaspoon and some fennel seed. Fennel seed is really traditional in sausage. A lot of people do add sausage to their lasagna, so this is kind of nice to give that familiar flavor. And I just like to kind of crunch the fennel seeds with my fingers as I'm putting them in. That just releases all its flavor. Oh, this is smelling so good. Now that I can smell the spices and the lentils are nice and warmed through, we're going to add in our sauce. Ooh, look at that sauce. First, we need noodles for lasagna. So I am going to be using these Tinkiata lasagna noodles. They're made from brown rice. So the ingredients are brown rice, rice bran, and water. In my opinion, this brand of gluten-free noodles is superior <laughs> to the rest. I think it tastes really, really similar to regular pasta, and I think it holds up really nicely. Some gluten-free pastas can just kind of fall apart, and especially in a lasagna, you need a good lasagna noodle. So we're gonna be using these today. I got my water boiling, so I just need to pop these noodles in the boiling water, and while they boil, we can finish our ricotta cheese. Big pot of boiling water. Make sure to salt your water really well. Probably about a tablespoon of salt. And in go our noodles. Gonna cook for 11 minutes. Okay, so now we are ready to make our ricotta cheese. I went ahead and drained my sunflower seeds that were soaking in hot boiling water, gave them a quick rinse, and now we're gonna add them to a high speed blender. You could also use a food processor if you like. Don't laugh at me if I get these all over my counter. Ooh, I'm doing pretty well. Sunflower seeds are actually an amazing source of protein. Lots of other vitamins and minerals that you find in nuts. So I think they're just a great substitute to use, especially since this recipe doesn't have any meat or dairy in it. We're gonna get some protein and some good healthy fats from the sunflower seeds. Add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is a vegan, like cheesy, nutty flavoring to add to foods and especially like any type of cheeses. It's actually really high in B vitamins. There's like nutritional yeast dust everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully you can still see me. And then we're going to add some minced garlic. Add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I like it garlicky, so you could definitely add more or add less. Some lemon zest. I'm gonna zest probably about the whole lemon. If you think about it, cheese has just a natural acidity to it. I really think it's important if you're making something that is supposed to be creamy or cheesy, you need some kind of acid, like a vinegar or a lemon or lime added to it. I also think that lemon just gives, especially heavier dishes, a really nice freshness. Get all that zest in there. It's a really big lemon. So I'm gonna cut the lemon in half because we need the juice. Ooh, I don't even know if it's gonna fit. Might have to cut it again. The juice of the lemon will help this cheese kind of come together. Doesn't look like much now, but wait till you see it in a minute. Here we go. That looks a bit more like ricotta. Depending on how juicy your lemon is, you may need to add some water. I ended up adding about a fourth of a cup of water just because my blender needed a little bit of help. And just scrape down the sides and keep pulsing until it just kind of forms like a rough like texture like ricotta. It doesn't have to be perfectly pureed. Noodles are ready, so I need to go and drain those. You can toss the noodles with a little bit of olive oil. I think that's what I'm gonna do, just so they don't stick as we are layering our lasagna. I'm also going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I've got almost everything that I need to start layering my lasagna before it goes in the oven, but I, of course, of course, you guys know, I have to add something green. Between the layers, I am going to be adding some baby spinach and some torn basil leaves. So throughout each layer, I'll just tear up some of those and they're gonna cook and bake with the lasagna in the oven and you'll get that fresh basil flavor with a little bit of hidden greens from the spinach. Now we're ready to start layering. I'm just going to start with the sauce. You always wanna add sauce on the bottom. Now we are ready to add the ricotta. I think this is probably the hardest part, is getting the ricotta to spread. <laughs> add some fresh spinach leaves at this point. 
big torn basil leaf. And then another layer of sauce and we just repeat until we're out of ingredients. It's ready for our last layer of sauce. I want to drizzle a little bit of olive oil right over the top, give it a nice crust. I kind of like that some of the green is showing through. So colorful. I am keeping it uncovered, going into a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how I make a plant-based lasagna that is also nut-free, soy-free, gluten-free, all the things free. <laughs> Actually taking it to a holiday party. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video if you wanna see more like it. I'd love to know what you guys thought of more of this like in my kitchen kind of cooking video. Check the description below for more details and I'll see you soon for another video.